JDM. Good news and bad news for you guys. The good news is, is that we finally got like the windbreakers in. Um, that took uh, quite a while for it to come in, but we finally got them in. We gave them like to Hello Basso so they could screen print like the logos in. Um, and we'll probably have that by early next week. The bad news is, it's gonna be our last uh, few days with the R32. And I'm just taking everything out, just so you guys can see. I mean, this had like potential to be 500 horsepower. So, it's kind of bittersweet what's gonna happen, but I think it's, it's kind of time. And I mean, what I'm getting next is well worth it. Fuck yeah. I mean, it's it's gonna be amazing. But we still can't say. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a surprise and you'll guys see it later in this video, but it's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, let me just show you guys what I have for the GTR. That, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get installed. I really wanted to do things right, so Everything, Tomei like everything. Said, Tomei everything. So fuel rail, just little aesthetics like the cover, oil cap. These are beautiful. Gears, and then this will cover it. The Nito cam gear. Mm. I had a Zilla Life uh, seat, and then just it was like super pink. I didn't like it. I liked the idea because it said Zilla, you know, Godzilla. Mm -hmm. But it was like pink, so I returned. Oh, I didn't return it. I just sold it to a friend. And uh, FC by Apex I uh, ECU with the controller, so it was pretty much almost plug and play after the tune. But uh, this car would have been amazing, honestly. But don't worry, dude. If you guys know the story, then you guys would understand why I'm doing it. And not only that, like what I'm getting next is, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I mean, whoever, the guy that's getting me this car is. It's like a pretty. Have a lot of fun with this Hell car. Yeah. He probably has to do almost nothing to this car. Just and like Leo's gonna give all these parts to him. Yeah. So lucky oh, him. Yeah. It took so much time to source these parts. And he's all just getting them one take, so. <laughs> so fuck that nigga. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Pretty crazy. Alright. Well, let's go slam the GTR. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, like, Leo's gonna join me to the dark side of going slam. So, we're gonna go to Chris's shop. Chris is actually a guy who does car wrapping. He actually uh, wrapped like the roof of my car black, and, and he also car. wrapped R32 with the flat black. So we out. So uh, thanks to Chris, he actually let us use his garage for tonight, so we could lower the R32. So say what's up, Chris. What's up, man? What's up to the block? He's about to fucking slam these. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alright, so the front of the car was already fully maxed out, but the rears have at least like an inch of space left, so we're just gonna go like max out on the rears too. We're not experts, but we're all about doing it ourselves. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so, like to lower like a cold over, you're supposed to take the bigger wrench and you put it on the bigger one. And you're supposed to go left, and then if you want to raise up the car, you're supposed to put it on the second one, and you're supposed to go right. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, like it's pretty simple. Uh, so yeah.
Which side do you like it? I think it's just like pretty nice, dude. Alright, so this side versus this side over here. Not much of a difference, to be honest. It's a very small difference. Yeah, it still needs to settle in. It's tucked in for sure, though. Because this one barely has like a finger space. This one, this one, two finger spaces. It still needs. Oh, it's still Come on, bro, push. <laughs> push. Go, 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 go. There you go. Went from this to that. Looks <laughs> like no threat. Look at the sunny tires. Look at that. You know.
we even put water? Yeah, right. Before you put this on, you should pass it in this. Yeah, yeah. So, but I just want to make a hole today. Or what do you think? Should I make the hole this tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. So we're gonna finish off the lip tomorrow. Um, so like Leo's gonna finish this video off tomorrow and he's gonna be taking this car to a meet on Saturday, which I will not be there with the Subi. I'll be heading out to LA. So so yeah. There's my baby. GTR. Let's go check out your car. Where is it? Right there. You can see it from like a mile away. Le fanboys. The highlighter of Brian. Yas, please, on Instagram, follow him. Uh, <laughs> this. We just landed we'll see how it goes I think I saw him pass by when we were driving over here we we're kind of pretty lost so he's gonna meet us over here and we'll just follow him um, where we go I don't know where we're actually gonna make the test drive and all that so we'll see it was such a bitch getting this car into the fucking flatbed because this lip is ridiculously low it was literally touching the ground of this when we were trying to load it but we got it done cars looking fucking amazing I'm gonna miss this fucking car man it's Clear the brakes. You know, what do you find trouble? Trouble eights on these? 
I was gonna, but I mean, maybe I should just wait and get new wheels. Yeah, yeah this RPF one's got a fat bend, so yeah. you're gonna feel that. If you're running a sketchy ass spacer in the front, I would definitely do new wheels. Sponsorship? Yeah, we got you. Let me know. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Dude, we sponsor. You know Brian. He knows yeah, Brian. Yeah, yeah, I know Brian. That's my yeah. boy. That's like my best friend. Yeah, he's supposed. He's supposed. He's coming here now, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've seen his. You got some maize. Oh no, the, not not even maize. Actually, there's some kind of riversides. Oh, yeah. Riverside wheels. Yeah, they're not the maize that I had. Yeah, you have to run an eight. Oh. On these, it'd be safe. On stock stuff, it'd be too way too sketchy. I wouldn't do it. What's up guys? Finally made it home. Uh, this wheel wasn't holding pressure. It was spitting out all the air. But I mean, made it home. You know. Uh, I'll show you around the, the actual car. I mean, I haven't even shown you guys. Let's see. So, here she is. It's a lot of power. I'll be talking about the car more and more later on, but I just want you guys to get the general idea. V1, pure E85 tune. Battery. This car is a straight up race car. I don't know what the plans are. I think the main thing, tune it down to 400 horsepower and get back out there on the track. Well, I gotta go to school. I'm gonna be late. It's raining. It was a bitch to drive this car because no power steering. Like, it doesn't have the pump at all. So, yeah, that was a struggle. And not to mention the wheels and the huge brakes because these wheels aren't fitting because the huge brakes, look at that barely clearing anyway like I said I gotta go walk to my other car so until then this is goodbye until the next one peace